Let's shadow story. Peter Pan. They put their hands over their eyes to shut out the sight. They thought they would soon be no more. As they sat thus, something brushed against Peter, as light as a kiss, and stayed there, as if saying timidly, "Can I be of any use?" It was the tail of a kite, which Michael had made some days before. It had torn itself out of his hand, and floated away. Michael's kite, Peter said without interest, but next moment he had seized the tail and was pulling the kite toward him. It lifted Michael off the ground, he cried. Why should it not carry you? Both of us. It can't lift too, Michael and Curly tried. Let us draw lots," Wendy said bravely. "And you, a lady, never." Already he had tied the tail round her. She clung to him. She refused to go without him. But with a goodbye, Wendy, he pushed her from the rock, and in a few minutes she was borne out of his sight. Peter was alone on the lagoon. They put their hands over their eyes to shut out the sight. They thought they would soon be no more. As they sat thus, something brushed against Peter as light as a kiss, and stayed there, as if saying timidly, "Can I be of any use?" It was the tail of a kite which Michael had made some days before. It had torn itself out of his hand and floated away. Michael's kite, Peter said without interest. But next moment he had seized the tail and was pulling the kite toward him. It lifted Michael off the ground. He cried, "Why should it not carry you? Both of us. It can't lift too." Michael and Curly tried. "Let us draw lots," Wendy said bravely. And you, a lady, never. Already he had tied the tail round her. She clung to him. She refused to go without him. But with a goodbye, Wendy, he pushed her from the rock. And in a few minutes she was borne out of his sight. Peter was alone on the lagoon. <laughs>